David Taub with GV Weiner here in the offices in Washington, D.C. of Congressman David Valadeo. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right. Following up on H.R. 23, it passed a couple weeks ago, is uh, your bill to help ease California water regulations. It's going to the Senate, but, you know, we've heard comments from Senator Feinstein, Senator Harris, that uh, they're not much in favor. So how is this going to get passed the Senate? Well, it's the same position we've always had. Um, we've always gone in, passed our legislation. Senators uh, Feinstein and at that time Boxer would always come out in opposition. Um, and so our goal now is, is to force them to the table. Uh, it's what we've always had to do in the past. Uh, Boxer was a little more difficult last time, uh, but we were able to get some language signed into law last year in December, uh, some, most of it temporary, um, five years on a lot of the water, uh, the water language, and 10 years on the dollars. Uh, this year, it's a permanent bill. Uh, we still have to do something with the San Joaquin River settlement that was not touched in the language last year. Uh, and so making sure that we continue to put pressure on our senators so that they come to the table and hopefully uh, get to be part of the conversation. Uh, what helps us a lot this time versus last time is we have a president uh, who is willing to sign the bill as is, who actually supports the language uh, and will put pressure from his side as well. Right now, during the debate, you know, there are some congressmen saying, hey, this is deja vu. We, we, well, how is this different? What have we, we've already heard this before. And we, we have seen these water bills before. Mm -hmm. So what's different this time around? And do you think the results are going to be different than we've seen before? Well, we're going to keep pushing. Um, and so, yes, uh, we've introduced this bill. Pretty much every Congress since I've been here and even before my time here, it was introduced pretty close to this language. It was, pretty, it was introduced before my time. Uh, it's going to keep going until we get this water problem fixed. Uh, even in a year like this with 200 percent of, of uh, rainfall, we still didn't get our full allocation until April. It was way, uh, way too late then to make decisions on what to plant and, and what farmers are going to do. Uh, so obviously, even with the language we got signed in December, uh, it's still not enough. Uh, again, the San Joaquin River settlement has not been touched, and it should be touched. That has to be re-looked at. Um, so the bill takes care of that as well. Uh, but yeah, we're going to keep fighting for water for the valley uh, for every opportunity we've got and keep this in the front burner um, so that people know what's going on and, and we can get to a, a real solution. How come this has been such a divisive issue within California? It divides the party. It seems like it divides north and south versus the Central Valley. And only one congressman crossed party lines. That was Congressman Costa of Fresno. So why does it seem to be such a divisive issue? Everybody wants their water. Well, um, I think that there is an ideology out there that, that affects a lot of folks, especially in Northern California when you get into the Bay Area. Um, I, I think there's a lot of, um, I mean, they're talking out of both sides of their mouth. Uh, they're willing to implement regulations on us, uh, like the San Joaquin River Settlement, but won't touch their own water source, Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. Uh, they think it's a great idea to, to force water down a river and take it away from those communities, but at the same time, allow not do uh, the same type of policy for their own water source. Uh, every single drop of water in Hetch Hetchy is pipelined all the way through the valley up into the Bay Area. And uh, if they truly believed in the policy, they'd implement it for themselves and their own water sources as well. Now, before we came out to Washington, GV Wire asked its uh, readers, you know, they, they posted comments on Facebook. And obviously, water was really one of the key issues. And, you know, and obviously, how much does your constituency play in this? You know, how important is it uh, for people to call and write, not just you, but uh, you know, senators, there are other congressmen. Oh, I think it's very important. Uh, every single uh, letter that comes through the office, uh, I always know the names and addresses, uh, issues. I want to know what people are writing me about. I think it's very important to listen to your constituents. And I strongly encourage every single constituent out there, mine or others, uh, to write both their Congress folks and their, uh, their senators and make sure that their voices are heard. On policies like water, you have to have every California at the table so that we can come to a conclusion on this and solve our problems for the long term instead of having this fight every two years. Have you talked with the White House uh, recently just about getting H.R. 23 through? Have you had any input from their end? The administration has been briefed on this. Uh, President Trump, during the campaign, came to Fresno twice, talked about water, and said that he would be supportive of our language. Um, and since the bill's been introduced and before it was passed off the House floor, the White House was involved and was briefed on the language, completely understand it, and are supportive of the language. All right, Congressman, thank you so much for your time here in Washington, D.C. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.